How do you like the video title? <laughs> I'm sorry. But before you hit the dislike button, hear me out. I hear a lot of wedding DJs on social media talking about the importance of keeping the dance floor packed. And you know, when I was a younger DJ, I think I might have felt the same way. But now that I'm a little older, and I'm physically different, I can see things that maybe I couldn't see before. And I would argue that our function as a wedding DJ is simply to create ambience. And that dancing is a very secondary activity. I hear an awful lot of DJs talking about reading the crowd, where they can pick out a group of people and figure out what they want to dance to. I don't like that term at all. I prefer using the term playing to the audience. To play to the audience, you must first read the room. And not only what's going to get them dancing, but what are they doing? What activities are they engaged in? I think if we try to pull people on the dance floor constantly, we might actually be disrupting the primary objective of a wedding, which is a family and friends gathering where they can be social. And it's not that dancing isn't important, because it is. It's a fun activity to do. Once you've engaged in conversation, once you've kind of done the other things that are important to do at a wedding, it's fun to have some cocktails, to go out on the dance floor and enjoy yourself. It's nice to always have somebody on the dance floor, but I don't believe that it always needs to be packed because again, if you read the room, you can see what's actually going on. If people are sticking around, yeah, just play music. You don't have to play big banger dance songs and try to force people out. Just keep them there, create the ambience, make it fun and festive. And then when people start to look a little bored, kick it up a little bit. That's when you start reading the crowd as to what they wanna maybe dance to. What I see a lot of DJs do, and it's so unfortunate, is when there's not dancing, they tend to turn the music up, thinking that maybe it's not loud enough. Well, if there are people in the audience who are trying to engage in conversation and they can no longer do so because the music's turned up so loud that they can't talk, you're gonna force them out of the room. It's not helping matters. Keep the volume someplace where people can have conversation if that's what they're doing. That's why I like hotspot on the dance floor and conversation areas elsewhere in the room. But I've seen it so many times when it just gets louder and louder and louder, although no one's on the dance floor. So what can you do? Now you're disrupting everything else that's happening in the room. And the other stuff that's happening in the room is good stuff. You just got to pay attention and see what it is and have enough empathy to recognize that this is important stuff too. So anyway, just a quick vlog today. Let me know what you think in the comments section. How do you feel about this? That's it. And I'm not going to ask you to like or subscribe or ring the bell or leave a comment or anything like that. But it would be really cool if you did. And I'd appreciate it. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.